asked to speak to Steve Francis, the Houston Rocket ball player. Mm-hmm. And they say he's busy. Yeah. I come back the next day and ask to speak to him. They say he's busy. I gave him a card and they say I'll give it to him. I come back the next day and the big dude say, hey, bro, I told you I was going to tell him. I done already told him. He say he'll get with you when he got time. And at that moment, Steve Francis was coming down the stairs. And I seen his foot. And I seen his leg. And I said, that's him now, ain't it? He said, yeah, but he busy. I said, Mr. Steve Francis, excuse me, sir. He said, oh, what's up? He said, oh, that's, that's the dude that's trying to, yeah, that's the dude been trying to catch you. But he said, well, let him go. No, I got him. I got him. I said, how you doing, sir? He said, okay. I said, would you give me five minutes of your time, Mr. Steve Francis? He said, yeah, I got five minutes. And I had my computer on my arm, and I laid it on the laptop, and I opened it up, and I hit play, and I played This Is America. Mm-hmm. And he stood there for a few, and he paused, and he said, Damn, school, that's you. Mm. I said, yeah, that's me. And he said, stop it right there, brother. Come here, come here. Look what school got here. And so he's looking at my video from mm. Hollywood, and he see this chain. He said, man, he got a chain just like me. He said, man, what's your name again? I said, Gary Reese. Yeah. He said, man, wait a minute. Mm. You are Monty Charles. Baby daddy. I say, right. Oh, man, it's a small world. Do you remember Mr. Steve Francis? <laughs> and so what, you, he, he knew you since, since he was a kid or what? No, no, this, oh, okay. was, this is a coincidence. All this is tied into God's doom. Okay. I'm going up there to try to catch him to help me with my music because mm-hmm. the girl who have turned snake on me, at the time, she decided she was going to help Armani child, my other baby's mama. So I got two baby's mamas that caught up trying to catch Jay Prince and Steve Francis. But they were supposed to be trying to hook me up, but decided Armani child, look her up. She's a artist, very good artist. One of my baby's mamas. Yeah. That's another part of the drama. Right, 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 right. <laughs> When Steve Francis seen the video, he said, wait a minute, what's your name? I said, Gary Reese. He said, you the one that had the four women in third ward in that big house and had two or three of them pregnant. And I said, yeah, that's me. He said, God damn, come here, brother. And he called his brother over. I'll be damned. Steve Francis was from Fifth Ward too, or what? No, Steve oh. Francis was just buying that bill and that renting that bill. And I'm coming okay. through there, somebody say he just bought it. I ain't never seen Steve in my life. Yeah. I'm coming to see, can I get somebody to help me? And they say, you know, Jay Prince sold the place. I said, well, I just heard that he he ain't got nothing to do with it, Steve Francis. So go up there now because I think he up there now. And that's what I did. And I caught him. And now he's sitting there glorifying me. Oh, man, you know, man, I mind it. I say, stop, sir. Yeah. I don't want to Im- implicate nothing that me and you going to do with none of my baby's mama. You know both of them. Yeah. Yeah, both of them my gal. They my girl. Mm-hmm. I said, that's what I'm talking about. If we do anything that be one-on-one, just you and I. Mm-hmm. He said, that's a bet. He said, but I got some business to take care of, and somebody come in the door, and he had to stop doing what he was doing. He said, I'm going to get back with you. Mm-hmm. And I said, thank you, sir. When I walked out the door, his brother said, man, I told you, he going to get back with you. He busy right now. I said, I hope y'all get back with me ASAP. And I walked out the door. Mm-hmm. And you- the next day, I started to go back up there and ask, would he give me five minutes in the office? And when I got ready to go up there, here's my hand to God. I turned around at the last second. I said, you know what? I ain't going to. He said, give him a minute. I'm going to wait until Friday, two more days. And I went to feed Esther with $20 in my pocket to get me some hamburger meat and make me a hamburger Mm -hmm. and try to wait until check day, which was Friday. Yeah. And when I pulled up there and got out of my car and walked around the side of it, 
a SUV almost hit me. Mm. And I jumped. I said, God damn it. He said, excuse me, sir. And I looked and I said, excuse me, sir. He said, Mr. Reese. I said, Steve Francis, what are you doing here? He said, man, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. I said, I didn't ask you that, brother. He going to testify to this. I said, because, brother, I was thinking about you when you pulled up here and you almost hit me. He said, jump in, man. I jumped in and he parked the car mm. and we started talking. Yeah. And he said, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I told him why I started coming up there. Jay Prince, I just talked to him last week. He told me on the phone he'd gone to Jamaica to take care of some business. So you know Jay. I said, I just told you that. You think I'm lying? He said, I'll tell you what, I'm finna hit Jay up right now. I said, put him on the phone. Hmm. He called Jay Prince. He said, Jay, what's up? He said, man, I'm on the beach. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, man, you bullshit. You don't know who you, what? I ain't gonna ask you who you is. I know you don't think you Anyway, I just called you to ask you a question. Do you know an old school by the name of Gary Reese? Hmm. He said, yeah, I know Mr. Reese. He said, okay, well, he is right here. I'm with him right now. He gave me the phone. I said, what's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? He said, how you doing, Mr. Reese? I said, you know, we just talked last week. You said you're going to holler at me. He said, Mr. Reese, when you get the package together, come and holler at me. I told you I was going to take a look at it. You got my word on that. I said, I appreciate it. Gave him the phone back. He hung up. Okay, man, I'm going to holler. I just wanted to see if he really knows you. Boop, boop, boop. Hung the phone up. And then I told him, man, uh, I'm in a strain right now. Mm -hmm. And I used to be a baller, but I'm a broke ass nigga right now. Mm. And I'm struggling, and I'm over at TSU getting that grant money, but right now I'm waiting on my new check, so uh, I got a bill coming up Friday. Mm. He said, how much you need, brother? I say, $650. He went in his pocket and he pulled out $650 and say, that problem been solved. What else we gonna talk about now? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call my girl Amani, child, let him know we talk. I say, sir, I told you the other day, do not involve me with Amani, child, period. Mm. We just, baby, we got a child together and that's it. He said, okay. And that was the end of that subject. Mm. Let's take a break. All right, we'll when take we a break. get back, then I'm gonna tell you how Mr. Matthew Knows paid for my Y'all know Matthew Know. Yeah, yeah, Beyonce's dad, yeah. I'm going to tell you how the next week, the same scenario. And Mr. Matthew, I told you I'll be back. Let's take a break, <laughs> brother.